there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of December 2024. Can you believe we are here at the end of the year already? So I already went ahead, shuffle the cards, lay them out in the monthly format. But first, I would w like to wish any of you celebrating a birthday this month a very, very happy month, a happy, happy month of birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday month and also happy holidays to those of you who um, are celebrating the holidays this month. So let's get to your reading. Your overall energy is the eight of wands in the upright position. Ooh, fast moving energy. Just the way Sagittarius likes it. <laughs> this is about lots of communication back and forth. It could indicate sudden travel. Maybe some of you are traveling this month. Well, it's not that big of a stretch. A lot of people are traveling during the month of December. Um, this could be, you know, arrows of love find their mark. Maybe you're meeting somebody new and you just can't stop communicating back and forth with them. Um, this could be lots of, um, say, if you're on dating sites, it could be a lot of people messaging you. It could be if you put your resume out there, maybe you're getting a lot of... Uh, of uh, responses for that. It's great if you're in sales, could indicate a lot of sales. If you're in business for yourself, could be a lot of new clients, but it's good stuff. It's fast moving energy, great. Right at the beginning of the month for the first week, you have the, oh, more fast moving energy, page of wands, rooted down by the 10 of wands. So the page of wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is your energy. You're coming up in your own reading. Indicate you are on the right path, Sag. If um, when it comes to uh, travel, for sure, business and enterprise, or even communicating with anybody, I think, um, you know, you, you're ready to take action on something. It could be um, Sagittarius. You sort of hit the ground running when you come into the month of December and you just want to keep going. Uh, this could indicate you are hearing from somebody else. This could be from your travel agent about your travel itinerary. It can represent um, good news and information coming towards you about, um, it could be about uh, passion, fun, excitement, adventure, as well as business. But the Ten of Wands is rooting this down, indicating there is a lot of work to be done. It could be that you are doing a lot of physical packing. Maybe some of you are moving and you are um, really stressed at the beginning of the month because you have so much to do. This is taking on a lot more and more and more on your plate than you normally would. So this could be helping out others, but this can also indicate that you yourself have, you know, maybe you've just um, moved into a new house and this could be... Um, you know, you having to unpack or maybe you're about to move and this is you packing. A lot of times the Ten of Wands is just exerting ourselves physically extremely so. So this could be you doing that, could be you doing a lot of work or getting a lot of things accomplished before you take this trip or things like that. So you, it's a very, very fast moving uh, week week one week two you have the five of swords rooted down by the fool in the upright five of swords represents can represents conflict conflict with others could be conflict online can represent conflict in the family in your neighborhood it could be uh, even being conflicted with yourself sometimes this is where we're of two minds of something or heart versus head and we're not really sure what to do we're very conflicted about something but this could also be just maybe having people around you that don't agree with what you're doing right now. Could be there's a lot of activity you've decided. You know, the Page of Wands, this wand energy can be a little impulsive. So maybe you're doing something impulsively and the people around you are pushing back. That could be the possibility. But you're ready to move forward because the fool is here. You have an opportunity to do something fun, something different, something exciting, something that really, really appeals to you. And it's a new beginning for you. So you're just ready to, to uh, move into it no matter what the p pushback is for you. Week three, you have the Nine of Swords in the upright room to tap by the Nine of Cups. 
So this is the week of Christmas. The nine of swords in the upright position points to a lot of anxiety, thinking, overthinking, and sort of driving yourself nuts because you're you're just um, you're not getting enough sleep because you're trying to figure out how to deal with this situation. There is something going on. Maybe it's related to this five of swords conflict or something. But there's something that's on your mind in week three. You're really, really thinking and overthinking the situation. But the wish card is here. So maybe you're overthinking, oh, you really, really want this to happen. It could be about, you know, a family situation. It could be about a romantic situation for some of you. And you're really, really stressed out about this wish manifest. You're you're wanting this wish to happen really, really bad. And so you're you're thinking that what if it doesn't happen or maybe you're thinking of all those things that can go wrong but it looks like it does manifest for you so maybe uh try and calm down the the mental chatter because it does look like it works out because you get your wish in the end anyway and in week four we have the queen of wands rooted down by the oh my goodness the ten of cups beautiful energy queen of wands here's you again the uh, fire energy aries leo sad sun moon arising this is you coming up in your own reading indicating you're on the right path because you took action in the beginning of the month you were you were just at a page level and now you're at the queen level you took action and look where you landed the queen of wands versus down by the ten of cups this is emotional happiness you've got the nine of cups and then it turns into the ten of cups so whatever you're taking a chance on here sag at the beginning of the month you're doing the right thing because it does end beautifully although you're a little bit worried about it you know at the top of week three but it does look like it all ends up beautifully really really beautiful like because the queen of wands she takes action she doesn't sit around and wait for things right so some of you arrows of love did find their mark and you could be involved with somebody else maybe this is somebody new who came on the scene and you're just getting the ball rolling in the right direction and everything it works out beautifully maybe the wish was to get married a lot of people get married on new year's eve and stuff so could have been that that's what your wish was and your goal was and it all works out looks like a little bit of anxiety here maybe a little bit of pushback but other than that it's and it's a lot of work but it's all full steam ahead <laughs> and in closing i will be pulling two cards from the zodiac deck one is for love and romance let's see what we have for sag we have scorpio number 20 transformation number 20 could be something significant happens in your love life on the 20th which would be week three and uh, it could be with or through a scorpio it could be um it could be something special happens when the moon is in scorpio second card is for career and finance what do we have here we have leo moon and leo number 17 heroin is heroism so it could be with or through a Leo. We do see a lot of uh, fire here, right? The Page of Wands. That could be another fire sign you're dealing with on uh, the front of finances and business. So it could be with or through a Leo, but it could also be when the moon's in Leo or on the 17th of the month that something significant happens in your, um, your financial or career life. So that's what I have for you, my dear Saggies. I really, really uh, oh, oh, want to wish you a very wonderful month of December. And can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section below. And I want to thank you very much for joining me. And I really, really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye.